New developments for Orange County's second largest employer. The school district says they are digging deeper into their pockets to pay teachers more. The teachers union is hesitant with the new deal, saying it's not good enough. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is live in the studio, though. Nikki, in a historic vote, teachers already rejected the first deal. That's right, Matt. They shot down the last proposal offered in July. This time, the district is back with a new deal on the table and say it's what teachers wanted. However, union members say not so fast. Another budgetary standoff is underway following the latest round of teacher salary negotiations with an Orange County Public Schools. We heard the teachers loud and clear. They didn't want bonuses. They wanted salary. So the board came back and said, let's take the non-recurring bonus We'll put it into salary. On Wednesday, the school board announced their plan to offer teachers a 6% raise to their annual salaries. Raise your hand if you're an elementary teacher. This comes just three months after teachers overwhelmingly rejected a one-year deal with an average of a 4% raise and a $500 bonus. The teachers union president saying she still has questions about the latest offer. Basically, it's really less money than their first proposal. The district says the proposed 6% salary hike would offer highly effective teachers a $3,000 increase. And teachers classified as effective would receive a $2,400 salary increase. Union members say they'd rather a one-year deal and for health insurance to stay the same. What um, CTA proposed was that the plan stay the same with no increases or the increases be absorbed by the district. The district challenging the request. In this proposal, we cover 95 percent of the employee's cost on insurance. District leaders saying things could shape up well for educators statewide following Governor Ron DeSantis' announcement to raise teachers' salaries to $47,500. Now the school district is also offering to pay half the cost of the insurance increase for all employees through January 2020, which is $8 million. District officials say this offer would be the highest salary increase among area central Florida school districts. What's next? Well, now it's up to the teachers. In the studio, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Nikki, thank you.